All right, we're going to use putty to log in to our um, Cisco switch. If you don't have putty, you can download it from putty.org. I'll put a link in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and log into our Cisco switch. Um, you'll leave the port number 22. It's SSH. Click open. You're going to log in. Uh, we are going to type the en command or enable and hit enter. It'll ask you for your password if you have that set up. And now, now we can go to work to configure our VLAN. Um, we want to be in config T mode, so type in CONF space T and hit enter. So now we're in config mode and we're going to use VLAN 99. That's our test VLAN, so I'm just going to type in VLAN space 99 and hit enter. Now we're going to hit exit because we need to go into the interface config mode. So we need to type in interface VLAN 99 and hit enter. Uh, this is where we're going to give our VLAN an IP address um, and a description. I always put a description on pretty much anything that I'm working on that will allow me to put a description just because uh, it'll help you or another technician when you come back to look at it later. So we're going to put in uh, test VLAN for write-up. Right. So I'll go ahead and click enter. We're going to give it an IP address. And what I typically do is my third octet is the VLAN number. Um, obviously, this only works so uh, you know for for so high of a VLAN. Um, so we're going to do 192.168.99.1. Subnet's going to be a slash 24, so 255.255.255.0. And go ahead and click or hit enter. Uh, typically, what I do is my VLAN interface will be dot one, and my firewall interface will be dot two five four. It doesn't really matter. I just try to keep some consistency uh, throughout my systems that I work on. Uh, one last thing here is we have to tell the uh, VLAN where to send. Oops, if I type that correctly, uh, we have to tell the VLAN where to send clients for a DHCP IP address. So we're going to put in one nine two one six eight. 25.254, which is my uh, Unify, my Ubiquiti Unify Dream Machine Pro. So hit enter. We'll type in D O W R or do right, and that's going to save our config. And once that has saved, uh, we're going to pick a port on our switch, um, which I'm basically going to just use. Uh, I have port 16 open. So we'll type in. Oops, guess I got to get out of interface config mode. Interface, gigabit, Ethernet 1016. Um, if you have one switch, this number will be one. Uh, this is the number in the stack. So if you had two switches and you were trying to do port 16 on switch two, it would be 2 slash 016. Uh, and then obviously the last number is the port number. Oops, double, double hit enter there. Uh, again, we're going to type a description. Uh, this is a test WAP port, so our wireless access port, port, our wireless access point port, and we are going to put it into switch port mode trunk. Uh, remember, tab the tab key is your friend in Cisco or pretty much any CLI, and we're going to set the native VLAN here to. VLAN 25. If you're using VLAN 1, you don't have to do this, uh, but I don't use VLAN 1 because uh, it's kind of like using password password. So we'll set that. And now we're going to set our allowed VLANs on this trunk port. VLAN. And again, tab key is your friend. So we're going to do 25, 27, 45, 55, and 99. You don't have to. Uh, really care about the rest of the VLANs. They're not really for this tutorial. Um, so hit enter. And now we also need to do the same thing on our uplink port. So type exit. And 
right now I'm using interface 25 to connect to my UDMP or my Unified Dream Machine Pro. Uh, typically I would use port one or 24 or 48. Um, that's just what I had available at this time. So we're going to do interface gigabit ethernet 1010. And we're going to do, we can arrow up and do the switch port command here uh, like so, except I also have another VLAN in there uh, that I don't want to lose access to. So we'll change that. Do another do right to save our config. It's always good to save your config. And let's get out of there. And if I do a show run interface gigabit 1016, so this is the mock access point port, you can see we've got a description. Uh, we've set the native VLAN to 25, um, and we've also set the allowed VLAN. So 99 is the new VLAN, 25 is the management VLAN, so the access point actually has an IP address on this VLAN 25 for management. So that is pretty much it. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look real quick. Let's look at the actual running config of interface 10. This is the uplink to our, uh, I guess I got to change that description because it's a unified dream machine pro. Um, but this is, so this is kind of what the config looks like here. Now the next step will be to move over to our unify controller, which is here. So you can log in. I'm logged in locally. Um, you can log into the cloud portal or you can log in locally. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's the same interface. You are going to come down to this little gear here, settings. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to networks. And we're going to click this add a new network button. And we're going to give it a name. So we'll do VLAN. Uh, typically I will do the VLAN so that I know I'll give it, you know, VLAN 99 and then I'll, you know, say what it is. So this is test. And then we're going to come down to this advanced box here. We're going to set the VLAN ID. So 99. If you want to auto scale your network, this is typically on by default. I shut it off. Um, so we'll make sure this is set to off um, so that you can adjust your DHCP range, etc. cetera. Um, DHCP mode is going to be server. We'll give it the IP address. Uh, the gateway is going to be .254. So, oops, 254. So it'll be 192.168.99.254. So it'll tell, uh, you know, it'll tell the the pool or the range to look at the UDMP uh, as the gateway. Uh, the range, we're going to change that to 99.100. Uh, 99. Dot 200. And this is just for testing. You can pretty much do, you know, whatever range you need. Uh, we'll leave all this stuff alone. Um, actually, no, we're going to change it to manual because uh, I want to point it out to Google's public DNS servers. So 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Uh, you would point this if you had DNS in house. Um, you could point that internally um, if you had open DNS or some kind of uh, child uh, parental control system, you could point, this is where you would point it. Um, pretty much the rest of the stuff we'll leave as default for now. We'll click apply changes. And now you can see our VLAN 99 test is here. And so what we'll do is we'll come up one to Wi-Fi. We're basically going to do the same thing. We'll click Add Wi-Fi Network. We'll call it VLAN 99. Uh, I think I called it in the in the article test. VLAN 99 SSID. It doesn't matter. We're going to blow it away when we're done anyway. Give it a password. And we'll want to set our network to be this VLAN 99. And that's pretty much it on the ubiquity side. So you can click apply changes. And now you can see that we now have another network here. So at this point, we'll come over to our lab machine and see if we can connect.
Okay, let's come over to our lab laptop here. Um, let's see if we see our new SSID, which we do. Uh, we won't connect automatically. We'll do connect, we'll enter the password. We'll click next. Uh, that's fine, it's just a test, I don't care. And let's see if it connects. There we go, connected. So let's open up a command prompt, IP config space forward slash all. And there we go. All right, so you can see on our wireless adapter, um, we're getting a 192.168.99.197 IP. Our gateway and DHCP server is .99.254. And DNS is Google's public DNS servers. So if we do a ping 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 .8, that shows us it's getting out to the internet. And let's go to, I don't know, YouTube, since this will be posted up there. <laughs> there we go.